Welcome back, Bobcat fans. Another game of NCAA football here with the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. We are 2-0 heading here in the week three. Getting ready to take on one of our old rivals, old Troy Trojans out of Alabama. But they're making the trip to Texas. San Marcos, indeed. Take on the Bobcats. We are ranked number four in the nation. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the game. This is very much a trap game. Troy is a sneaky team, and they've always been sneaky against us. We don't want to go down the path and pick up an early season loss. Overall, it looks like Troy has built themselves. They should be in control of the Sun Belt. If I'm looking at that, we are the better team, but you never know. You've seen us play against worse teams and played even below their level, so anything can happen. Nice sunshiny day. Good to see Brian Jones' face finally loaded in there. Troy Trojans, you know they want to ups uh, upset our party. Oh, look at our, there's our assistant coach. He used to be the coach of uh, Tennessee. That was good old Matt Nelson. We didn't see Jesse Broussard. His son used to play for the team, our, de our defensive coordinator, but not now. You can see the defenses here. Or the offenses, excuse me. They have more points a game and more rush. We have more passing. We'll just have to see what happens. Last game, we didn't have much of anything. Here we come taking the field here in San Marcos, your Bobcats of Texas State. And we need to come out of the gate hot today. We were stagnant against Tennessee. That was a sludge fest that I just don't want to go through again. And I know that we have a potent offense and we need to utilize it today. It is going to fall on the shoulders of Darren Thomas and hopefully he can get going. Brian Jones is going to have to find the open man as well, which he has not had a problem this season, but we need a run game to help him. But here we go, the Troy Trojans coming in to take on the number four Texas State Bobcats at Bobcat Stadium here in beautiful San Marcos, Texas. All right, unfortunately, we lost the toss, so they're going to kick it to us. It's like Chuck Denman's going to have a chance to bring this one out here. He just needs to come. Oh my God, what a spin move! And he'll get up to the 25 yard line, and here comes Brian Jones. He kept the ship above water, is what we'll say. No touchdowns last game. Come up to the line here. Ryan Jones going to audible something. And Thomas is brought down in the backfield, a loss of one. So once again, our offensive line not starting off on the best foot. Jones in the shotgun. And he's going to get sacked, hit by like three people there. Oh, he got up. He was slow to get up on that one. That's going to make it third and long. My lord. Crowd chanting, what are you doing? Not liking the start here. And that is lofted and almost intercepted. And what an abysmal start for the Bobcats. This is punted away. They're going to fair catch it. And they'll take over at the 37, maybe? Troy coming out looking like they're in a run formation. And the quarterback's going to keep it. Uh-oh. This is dangerous. Schneider going to have to come over. And he's still on his feet and finally gets knocked out of bounds by Anthony White. And we've just been awful. We've got to do some tackling drills in practice. We are just not getting to the ball and reacting to it very well. Come out. Bunched up to the right. Another run, and they get through again, but oh, Lumpkin comes up and will stop that one. Two yards. They're going to do a little pump pass, and oh, he gets past Lumpkin, and he throws Fritz. Are you serious? What is with our tackling 25 yards and Troy just marching down the field? Now, I will say that's a big dude. That is a big tight end. And he did shrug off two. Oh, my God, Fritz. They say defense wins championships. Last year, that was true. I don't know about this year. And he's wide open. Oh, my God. A helmet to the gut, Schneider. He took that one like a champ, but it's first and goal. And Troy doing as they please. And we go after him, but he's going to get by and scamper in. And again, we just cannot tackle. And Troy... As the Bobcats on upset alert, as they go up 6-0 here. That's a little push in the back. Number 
So a ridiculous start to this game as our team looks like they didn't even come back from Knoxville. Chuck Denman going to bring this one out. He, he runs around one. He's trying to turn a corner, and he tries to spin again. He'll stay up 33 yards up to the 25, and the Trojan defense looks amazing right now. Looks like they're blitzing on the outside edge. And Thomas, Thomas tries to spin. He'll only get four yards. Ryan Jones calling some audibles. And he's going to get sacked as unblocked linebacker from the outside. And we probably had a wide open dude, but just should have put Zach Jones there to block. But I just didn't think he would come that fast. We need, we need something big here. He's going to air this one out. Oh, and Brown almost had it, but a heavy hit. And that's going to be another fourth down as Troy is dominating. That punt is going to sell. Oh, no, he caught it inbounds. They're going to have great field position on our side of the field here with 324 left in the first quarter. Troy riding high right now. Oh, we hit him in the backfield, blew that whole play up. Four-yard loss. T.J. Manning was in on that. Bunch the middle up. Force him to go to the outside. And Lumpkin, what a SWAT play there. That was amazing. Third down and long now. Trying to get the crowd involved. And here comes the blitz, and he's down. An eight-yard sack. T.J. Manning coming all the way unstopped. And there's what some defense you wanted to see from your Bobcats. Hunt is away. Denman. Shrugs off one. Oh, and then he gets decleated. And again, negative yardage here for the Bobcat offense. Jones in the shotgun. He gets hit before he can throw it. He is 0 for 3 today. Not a good start for Brian Jones. Three receivers go out to the right. And it's a draw play. And Thomas, Thomas gets some blocks. He's going to reach. He's going to get nine. Third and one. Third and one would be great to actually get a first down. And Thomas, second effort will get him across. That was scary. Just seven nothing, no reason to panic. And there's some good block in there, and Thomas will go through and eight more yards. Second and two. And there's a dart. Oh, Burnett catches it with one hand, and that's 27 yards. What an amazing catch. Brian Jones put the heat on it, and Burnett just snags it on the go. Great play by the Bobcats. Staying in shotgun now, trying to get some more time. And there's another pass, Darnell Brown. Daryl Brown, I've never got his name right because I know a Darnell Brown. Bobcats send three to the right. Burnett out there by himself. It is a handoff. Good blocks. There's Thomas. He's being very patient. He'll pick up seven yards. 23 seconds left in the corner. It's a sweep. Thomas is in the end zone for a Bobcat touchdown. Eight yard run on the sweep to the right. And they're gonna even this game up bearing the extra point. Great blocking. He had an easy path in there. That's what we wanna see from the young man. Extra point is good. We've got a tie game here in San Marcos. David Carter launches this one. Probably going to bring it out, and he does. And he's got a lot of room. Good Lord, stiff arms, and there's a flag on the play. Personal foul. Face man. Oh, no. Defense. Anthony Morris. Still first down. And that's going to move him up here. 14 seconds left. May get one or two plays off here before the end of the quarter. 
Not with a run, and we're out. Oh, God, he's got through, and he falls over, only getting two yards on that. And that should run out the quarter. 25% of the game gone. It's tied. 7-7. Troy coming from Alabama and bringing hell with him. Quick pass. Snyder's there, and they're going to pull him down. It's going to be third and one. Crowd trying to get him into the game, and there's a run around the edge, and Fritz! Fritz gets the tackle, and it's going to be short. Brandon Fritz, the senior. Here's the punt. Chuck Denman looking for it, getting some blocks. Spins around. Chuck Denman tries to go up the middle, and that's a nice run. 14 yards. 6.06 here in the second quarter. If Brian Jones can write one up for him. He'll launch that one. There's Chuck Denman, and he's going to get down near midfield, 18 yards. Good duck down move. Good pass over top of the linebacker. He didn't even see it coming, didn't turn around. First and 10. Jones tosses it. Thomas. Oh, Thomas, big hit from the side. He'll get four on that. Second and six. Jones going back. Launching that one. He takes the hit. And it's caught by Daryl Brown. 48 yards for the score. And Brian Jones gets a touchdown today. Something he did not have in Knoxville. Takes the hit. Delivers that. What a drop in the hat. And Brown has six. Carter adds the extra point in the game, has flipped. Texas State on top now, 14 to seven, but plenty of time till halftime. And Troy gets the ball afterwards. Crowd starting to fill it here. That one's deep. Carter also filling it. And Davis gonna nil. Yeah, let's try to put the pressure on him still. Pressure seems to be working here today. It did not work last week. Run, and Daryl Lumpkin's on him. Daryl Lumpkin fighting him. Daryl Lumpkin's going to pull him down for a three-yard loss. Two wide receivers each way. Love to see Lumpkin. He's a sophomore. Get in there and do that. Dawson's trying to get through. Oh, and there's it. He's going to get through. Melton was on the coverage. Melton was really good last year, but as a sophomore, he's lost a step. He was a freshman All-American. I'm not sure what's happened. Third and five here. Let's see if the Bobcats can hold him again. Evans comes through on hit, and he's going to put some pressure and hit Ham, and that's going to force a fourth down. Chuck Denman back to get this one. Oh, Chuck Denman. Nice spin move there. Chuck Denman up near midfield, 13 yards. They're comparing Jones with the rest of the team. I'm not sure why, but that was an amazing throw by Brian Jones. First and 10. Hand off. Thomas, he'll get maybe a yard. I like how we're lined up here. Thomas goes in motion. They give it to Patrick. Patrick, he'll get maybe a yard. I should have audibled out of that. That was awful. Third and long now. Third and eight here. And he's going to launch that one. Oh! And Burnett was hit before he had a chance, and that's going to force fourth down. Let's see if Fred Pickens can uh, pin him deep here. Looks good. Oh, he didn't put he didn't put enough on it, and it's going to bounce in for a touchback. Wow, the whole team is on the left side. It looks like, and it's a run to the left. But we're going to catch up to him. He'll get one yard. Crowd everybody in, second and nine. And they got the throw off, and he's going to get hit from behind. T.J. Manning and Terrell Snyder on the tackle. Spreading the field out. Tight end goes in motion to the right. They're blitzing in the middle. They picked it up, and it's an incomplete pass. The cross route was there, but he didn't even look for it. And Troy, who started off pretty hot, is struggling now. Chuck Denman. 
Looking for this. Looking. Going up the middle. He's across midfield. Another good field position for the Bobcats. If they can do something with it with two minutes to go. Jones in the shotgun. He's going to go deep on this one. He's looking for Burnett. He goes up and it's knocked down. He had a chance on it, but good coverage all the way. So 159 left. And they hand it off. It's a run up the middle. Thomas is hit twice and he'll drop. He'll get three. The clock is running though. Third and seven here. And he's got him on the side. He makes the catch, but did he come down? They're saying 26 yards. This could be the greatest catch of Chuck Denman's career if he come down with one foot. I think it's going to be reviewed. No review. Great catch. 115 left. Thomas up the middle gets thrown down two yards. That's a gain of two on the field. Aaron Thomas is just not the typical Texas State running back we're used to. And there's a throw and Burnett, he start tries to stay up 13 yards and it's first and goal now. We're used to having those hard hitting running backs that go straight up the gut, but we just can't do that with him. And here's a throw and Thomas to the outside and he is in there for six. And we can utilize that. He can get to the outside and outrun some linebackers. And Texas State goes up here. Troy will get the ball after the halftime, though. Extra points, good. 21-7 here in this game. And Troy, they've got 32 seconds, but when they come out after the halftime, they're going to have to push. Don't want to fall behind any more than they are now. Sims going to kneel. We'll have a couple of throws. Well, we were through. He's wide open, though. And Schneider going to have to come over there and lay the big hit on him. Clock will run. No, they call a timeout. We run some zone here. Just try to cut away some of the lanes. And it's not going to matter. Oh, good Lord. Schneider again. Another big hit. Another timeout used, 24 seconds left. Troy trying. Texas State shifts to a 3-3-5. And there's a throw, and he gets by Melton. Mario Sims, 20 yards. They, they don't call the timeout. 19 seconds left. Clock should be running. Clock should be running. Why is the clock not running? I know it's a first down, but come on. I know they moved the chains. All right, there we go. Oh my God. And that's gonna, the clock winding down, are they gonna take a timeout and try to get a field goal at least? No, they're gonna try to go for it. Are you kidding me? There's no way. The CPU is so bad at time management and we're gonna go into halftime. It should be 21-10, but it is 21-7. Your number four ranked Bobcats leading. Start of the second half, Texas State leading here, 21-7. David Carter, ODC, going to kick this one off, and this one's way deep. So, Troy, if they want to start their comeback against this Bobcat defense, they're going to have to start at the 20. 25. I always get my 20s and 25s mixed up. And there's a run, and oh, my Lord, what a hit from the outside. Phil Harris. Getting involved in the action, the junior out of Union Springs, Alabama. Got a lot of good kids on this team. They're going to throw that one away. That's going to make it third and long. We're going to bring the blitz here. We're going to try to gamble. And we're through. Oh, get him. Oh, it's knocked down. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Great pursuit there by Daryl Lumpkin. And Texas State really bringing the heat now here. This game is in danger. Chuck Denman, he's going to get this. Looking. Oh, oh, it looked like he got clothesline there. First and 10, Jones. Going to swing it out, and here's Thomas. 
And what a <laughs> six yards on that. Everything else was covered. Quick six yard. Darren Thomas, he spun him out of his shoes. Jones changing things up at the line. Throws that one, and there's Burnett again. Burnett trying to stay on his feet, and he's going to bring that one down. The senior, who's already set some records, 59 yards on the day. We go empty backfield here. Let's see if we can stretch them out a little too much. Oh, he's got him beat. Easy. Oh, my God. Sean Burnett. That was the easiest catch and throw or throw and catch that we've had all season. Brian Jones just launches that one. Burnett. That was just like practice. Carter makes it 28 to 7. Troy in danger here. Bobcat Nation going bonkers. Another deep kick, and that's probably going to be nailed on. Not to jinx it, but it looked like Jesse Broussard, the, de the defensive coordinator, changed some things up early in the game, and it's paid off. And it's still paying off. No gain on that rush. Phil Harris, another tackle. Troy goes empty backfield now. And Mills was, oh, he's wide open. That's Melton giving him too much room. And that's a good pick up there. Mario Sims, 19 yards. So Troy gets a little bit of breathing room. Because Melton gave him way too much room. He's, he's like Fritz. In fairness, on that defense last play, I had the, uh, the five, or I had the, uh, the them playing back a little bit. Oh, what a tie up there! Great, Jeff Mills, the junior out of Mansfield, Texas. He just grabbed on and didn't let go. Second and long here. Oh, and it's a t oh, it's a fumble! What a hit, sacked. I think that was Caleb Benson. It was untouched around the end, hit him from behind, ball comes loose. The Trojans will recover though. Third and 16. And again, he got all that room. He's pushed back this time though. Melton gave him cushion, but kept him well beyond the first down, fourth and six. 345 left here in the third quarter. Texas State. A chance the roll here. Chuck Denman waits on it. Looking. Oh, he spun between the blocker and the defender somehow. And with 333 in the third, Texas State has a chance to really blow it open. Jones in the shotgun. He's going to hand this off. Nice cut up field. Thomas, he'll throw one around. He'll get five yards. Second and five. He's wide open again. Burnett throws one off. Oh, he tried to spin and another big gain by Sean Burnett, 38 yards. The senior filling it today. He was just out there all by himself and then just throws him down. And he was one spin move away from going to the house. First and 10, looks like they're putting an extra safety over there to cover him. Run up the middle. Thomas, ooh, pulled down. He'll get seven on that one, though, as they were expecting a throw. The handoff, Thomas. Thomas got some blocks. Thomas up the middle. Nice run there, 13 yards. Thought he's going bonkers. They're, they're coming up on us here. Oh, he was hit as he threw. Oh, we had two guys that were going to be open. Let's try to utilize our people here. Actually, I'm going to audible this. Oh, man, just didn't put enough loft on it. Third and goal now. May have outthought myself on that one. Jones in shotgun. And he's going to sling that one, though, and that is an easy pass. Chuck Denman, 10 yards, touchdown Bobcats. And that was just, yeah. Bad coverage by the Trojans. I think they're done. 35-7. Push-ups galore going to happen. I 
think you're about to see some backup players come into this game. And another deep kick by Carter is going to be nailed on. Texas State. 36 plays, 35 points. 300 plus yards, 9 first downs. Got all day to throw it. And he'll complete the pass. DJ Manning brings him down, but big gain there. A little lax. Oh, he left uh, Daryl Lumpkin in his tracks. Empty backfield here. We're bringing the people, too. Oh, I didn't mean the lock. This is going to be awful. That eh, turned out okay. I, need, I thought I turned player lock off, and all of a sudden it does it again. Bring the defensive line here. Oh, that was so good. Come on, boys. We need a strip. We need an interception. We need something. Offense has played amazing today. The defense has done really well, too. But I'd like to see it give the fans some big action here at the end. We were through. Fritz on the coverage there. He'll tackle him only a gain of three. Third quarter winding down. Another opening. We're getting tore up up the middle. We'll shift to a 3-3-5. We'll try to fill that middle. Force him to beat us on the edges. And we got to him, and that's exactly what they did. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I would love to recruit a cornerback. And maybe this is my fault for always looking at overalls. But one that actually had high stats and man hold on what is let's just let's just go to strategy here go to depth chart Where, what is my cornerbacks see fritz is 94 melton is 88 good speed out of both of them they got amazing fritz has amazing awareness but you would think that he got off the the idiot bus but i'm curious what their their man Oh my God, look at his throw power and his throw accuracy. He could have been a quarterback. I'm wondering, okay, his pursuit is 98. His play recognition is 95. His man coverage is 98. Not, look, okay, I'm not an idiot. I have recruited guys with great man coverage, 98, 99. Great zone coverage, 99, 98. And their press rating is really high. So... It looks like Melton's just really slow on the release, but it makes no sense that they're getting burnt that much. With 38 seconds left, Trojans of Troy are gonna try to make this a game. Oh, he dropped it, almost, almost snagged. Why in the world we had a right end out there covering, I don't know. Okay. That was nothing. I love the handshake animation. Third and goal. This is kind of important here. I don't want him to score. I don't want him to get any mojo. And we're into him, and he's down for the sack. Was that Caleb Benson? No, Frank Rankin on the sack there. The left end getting through. But it did look like Josh Dawson had the first hit with nine seconds left in the quarter they're gonna try to take the points they just jump off sides okay good that's gonna add a little bit more yardage on this kick still fourth down crowd getting stirred up and it is good 35-10, three seconds in the third. Kickoff. Troy kicks this one off. Chuck Denman, he's going to bring this one out for sure. Looking for those blocks. He'll roll. Oh, he's still on his feet. He's trying to stay up. There's a flag. Holding. Receiving team. Oh, that's going to back us way up. End of the third quarter. Texas State in control of this one. No chance of losing, hopefully. Hey, watch that, watch that. Yeah. 
So Eric Williams and Zach Patrick check in. And Zach Patrick almost gets a concussion on the first play. They'll probably come in and try to chew clock. Eric Williams out of Arkansas. He is a true freshman. It is a little screenplay. He's looking for a block. Zach Patrick trying to get up there. He's going to get eight yards on forward progress. Third and two. And it's an option play, and Patrick is there for the first down. You never see Coach Conquest calling that, but obviously he's giving Matt Nelson full reign today. Might as well let the youngsters have some fun out there. Oh, and that's going to be a pickoff, and that could be a pick six. Oh, he falls down. He read the comeback route perfectly, and Johnson just didn't make a play for the ball. You can't stand there, young fella. You got to go back after it. Coach Conquest explaining that to young Eric Williams. 5.08 left to go in the game. Troy going up against the second team defense. And he's going to get a yard. Oh, he kept the ball. Oh, he tosses it. Triple option. And that's going to be a touchdown, Troy. Great blocking by the receiver out there. We just couldn't get free to get to it. So the Eric Williams touch or turnover turns into points for Troy. And they're going to go for the onside kick, so we're going to have to move the hands team up here. Are you kidding me? Guys, pick it up. And now all of a sudden we're going to have to bring in the, the, the main guys again. Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to play it. We, we put the reserves in. We'll let the reserves play this one out. We'll see what happens. And there's a drop ball. Four thirty-six. And they're going to throw that one out of bounds. Nice pass to 72 there on the sideline. Here's the true test of our backup. Can they stop them here on third and 10? Tight end shifts over. They're trying to be aware. And they're going to get the first down and more. Well, we were there. Oh, my God. What a catch. He went over top of his own guy to make that. It's all for two yards. Clock running, four minutes to go almost. Second and eight here. Oh, we had guys coming. That's another first down. Call it a gain of 12 yards. First and 10. And he's gonna throw that one out of the back of the end zone. Ham 30 passes today, 200 plus yards. Oh, good Lord, Brown got destroyed on the line. Oh, he was out of bounds. He can't come back in. Illegal touching. Offense. Hand him out, hand him out. Still third down. Third and long here. And we get the blitz in there. Ham sacked. Casey Taylor. 31. Casey Taylor is a junior out of Downey, California. The safety coming in and making the big play here. So they're going for it here. Fourth and 23. This is probably the game. If the game is not already over in your mind. And they're going to drag him down, and that's a turnover on downs. And with 2.50 left, that's going to be it. I'd say it's going to be the Zach Patrick show from here on out. They'll get a yard there. Another handoff to Patrick. He's knocked down for a loss. Not going the right direction. They may have to give it back to Williams here and see if he can turn this over into a first down. They got Chuck Denman in there as a decoy. We'll see if they use him. 
No, they're just gonna go straight for Johnson, and Johnson comes down with it. That's a first down, and that's gonna be the game. Matt Johnson, a, so a sophomore out of Ada, Oklahoma. Making the journey south to join the team. It makes a great catch here. So the game started off iffy. And then Texas State come back. Brian Jones. Looks like he's going to be your player of the game. Three touchdowns, 243 yards, 11 for 18. Yeah, the pros better be looking at him. You want to score, he's your man. Final score here, number four, Texas State 35, Troy 17. Looking at the stats, Brian Jones, yeah, player of the game. No, no, that's an easy choice. 243 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. He was sacked two times again. Williams come in the game. He looked pretty good. Three for four, though. That one went awry and was an interception that led to a touchdown. But he is young, true freshman. He's got a lot to learn behind Brian Jones. Darren Thomas looked a little bit better today. 79 yards on 15 attempts. He did get that average up to over five yards, two touchdowns, and a 13-yard run. Zach Patrick, rough day for him, the redshirt freshman out of Kingman, Arizona. We're just going to have to work on him and get him. He is a speed back, but uh, we're going to have to utilize that a little bit better. Receiving amazing day from the senior out of Crystal, Minnesota, Sean Burnett, five receptions for 124 yards he had a touchdown chuck denman the other senior coming down 54 yards and a touchdown daryl brown amazing catches today and a touchdown i mean brian jones just put the ball where it needed to go and then we got sophomore matt johnson making a catch there at the end sealing it you gotta love it big day for terrell snyder again seven solo tackles sacks today by caleb benson frank rankin casey taylor and tj manning that's all you can say. Bobcats win. Bobcats win 35-17 against Troy. So it looks like schedule-wise, we took on Troy and won that one. We now start Pac-12 conference play. We start off California coming down to San Marcos. And then we've got number 13, USC, who's only, they've only played one game apiece. So they're going to be a little bit fresh. And then we got a bye. And then we start the little on the road. We go to Oregon, UCLA, got Arizona at home, but go back to Arizona. We'll just have to see how things go. But a lot of the teams that were in our conference ranked pretty high. It looked like they've had some early struggles, especially Texas A&M. They're not in our conference, but uh, they were top five, I think, at the start of the season. And just, I don't know what's happened to them. So it looks like it's going to be interesting. But that is where we sit right now. Great record going into the Pac-12. Ooh, bold statement by the game. The first real test. The Bobcats are all geared up to start their conference schedule this weekend. Kirk's going to roll with us, but I'm sure if we look at it, we are probably pretty even with California. I'm sure it's going to be an interesting matchup. It looks like, oh my lord, their rush offense. They rush for 200 yards plus a game? And they pass for 200? Are you serious? They pass for more than we do. Now, granted, they've only played two games. Who did they play? Oh, FCS Southeast. And they, wait, they lost to Buffalo? I don't even know at this point. Looks like we kept our fourth rank. Everybody in the top four won. Everything holds steady. Virginia did lose. I'm amazed at losing to the number one team. Actually, they lost to the number two team in the country. Now Notre Dame is number one that they dropped that many places. That is uh, a little cheeky of the committee to do to that, but this is all pre-week eight. It doesn't matter anyway. So Notre Dame is your new number one team in the country as they usurp Miami. Ohio State and Texas State staying strong. Michigan did not play in Michigan State. Lots of states up there. But that's where we're going to call this episode. As always, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of it. Thanks for watching. God bless. And don't forget, make good decisions, Bobcat Nation. Special thanks to the September Patreon supporters. If they were aluminum siding, I would nail them against the house. Party Commissar, Least Expected, James Matisse, Nicholas Absher, Zachary McKinley, Critias, and Ezra Rain. Follow the link to join their support.